All right, let's bring in the guys from uh, Brave New World. We'll be uh, we'll be playing some videos, and we'll also be playing some music uh, from these guys a little bit later. Um, we're not going to be broadcasting. I know a lot of people are going to be upset about this. We are not going to be broadcasting the live performances, maybe. But we're definitely not set up for that. We don't have uh, any leads from the main board, so we're most likely we're not going to be broadcasting that. So um, when it does come for time for uh, the show to actually get started and the bands take the stage, we're going to be spinning music from all these uh, um, um, artists that are on the show tonight, which is going to be really dope. And one of those happens to be a band that... I asked to come on the show a long... Look at this guy behind me. I like him. <laughs> oh, I don't know who that was, but that was awesome. So anyway, Brave New World. How's it going, man? Chris, and, and, and he just... One more time, what was your name again, bud? Cameron. Cameron, Cameron. Cameron, you're going to have to talk into that one. Better? That's better. It is. You're, you're, you're a little soft. Typically, i got to tell people to back up from that, but you're a little soft-spoken. A little bit. What's going on with you, Mr. Eubanks? Aw, oh, man. Just another day in the farm. Um, it's getting pretty thick in here, though, so that's exciting. Stoked for Arson Wave. Absolutely, man. excited to play with those guys. Great, great group of dudes. So, uh, right, right off the bat, uh, one thing I've got to mention about Chris over here is he's wearing the hat of another PMVN featured artist. Mr. Lopez, yeah. Mr. Big Low. Big Low. Gotta love him. Uh, Big Low. Uh, Support we, local It's music. funny. We did a. We did a about the whole. Uh, we were. I was battling. That it was all in love. I was battling back and forth with him. Well, it was a social. You know how he does social media anyway. He's a right. big social media warrior anyway, right? Um, we were battling back and forth about. I don't remember what it was. It was something really petty, something really stupid. But I ended it with. Uh, uh, or, or what it was is that we were we were typing on each other's posts like that's how we were like continuing the argument It was all in fun. It was all all, all good shit And uh, he, he did something about it was around the time that lustrous brothers or whatever came out And uh, I said I could go out and buy that album But nah <laughs> I, thought that was, I thought that was good man <laughs> right. No, I I love James. He's a he's a he's a fucking listen uh, big look like I said he's, he's he's one of our favorite artists he's He's a hard fucking worker. I mean, fantastic. Uh, I mean, when when you when you look at when you look at the level of dedication and the, and the type of uh, um, you know work that, that that musicians and artists put in, um, and then you look at ones that act like they should be getting the ends that they're not and they're not putting any work in at all. It's 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 laterals, right? I mean, it's I mean, you can just take um, a snapshot of that guy and then a big low and. And it, it becomes obvious why people don't make it, whether they have talent or not, because they're not willing to put that work in. Well, I mean, exactly. that's what it is. It's a job, you know? Like, no, it is. a certain point where you decide, this is going to be a career for me, you know? This is going to be something that I sacrifice my personal time and my relationships and sleep and vast, vast amounts of my income into, you know? I mean, it's, it's a labor of love. You have to do that. So if you're not ready to operate on that kind of professional level, then you know you can't go around expecting the same kind of handouts and the same kind of opportunities because opportunities are you know they're not given. You have to mm -hmm. go out and take them. You got to make them for yourself. At least that's the way I feel. No, no, no. You're right. You're right. And 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 that's it. You know, um, what happens is you know you get a lot of bands. I mean, some some guys that are just truly talented and they have it. They have what it takes talent wise to make it, and they they do one or two big shows and then they feel like well. I shouldn't have to do anything anymore. You know what I mean? It's they get it's, that ego, that rock star mentality, man. I mean, it happens to local bands all the time. I mean, it sucks, but that's what happens. You get that's the really the big thing with a band for me. Like, you have to know how to bypass that, and you know have to be able to not really get into your ego and yourself. You're a business. There are five members of the band. It's not just you. Every member needs to have their own solution. A little bit closer. A little bit closer? Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, I mean, that's just my opinion, though. I've, no, 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 like you're right. Band I've no, you're right, personal. man. You're right. And, and, and uh, even me, you know, I, I've been in hardcore bands. I've rapped. I mean, I've, I've done a, a pretty broad spectrum of music in my time, and I've done that. I've gotten to the point where where I felt like I was way bigger than I was. But early early on, like when you first get those, the, the very first time you do a show with a decent amount of people that you get those goosies that like you're like, oh, I'm never going to feel this again. I mean, you know, it's hard to go back to normal after that. I understand that. I felt that. I've done it. But, you know, just like podcasting, you know, 
I, you know, the reason I got into this is I was watching people like Joe Rogan and and, and, and and all these other guys, and I was saying to myself, this is fucking easy. I could do this. Yeah. And then like three heart attacks and five empty bank accounts later, here I am, and I still haven't made it. You know what I mean? I'm not going to stop because I'm not afraid of the work. I just wasn't expecting the work. Oh, so yeah, when you totally. get these guys that they think that they're going to just coast through on talent or they're going to coast through because they, I think there's a big misconception about the music industry. It's called the music industry because it's an industry which implies that work is involved. Preach. And, 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 and I don't believe that they understand that. They think that they can just do a show once or twice a month and that people are just going to flock with them with record deals, and which is really doesn't exist anymore. It's something you said to a guy like five years ago or something. But, you know, like all this shit that's going on, self-publishing and all of this, these guys are getting into these things well before they even know what the what fuck up, it is they're up, dealing with. <laughs> we were hoping for some of that. This guy behind me, um, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, and we'll get back into that, but just real quick because he's back there. I've been doing shows in Pensacola for at least 15 years, and this dude has probably Love been at almost every single fucking Love one of them. He's been around forever. One of the most Ever. important people in the music yes. scene currently. I am a legend. Mr. I am a baby Matt maker. Yeah. Matt Schultz. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Branding himself. Woo! Don't forget that name. speak the native tongue. Yeah, if you're in Pensacola, woo! Goes woo! a mile. We know what that means around here. <laughs> And so you never uh, will, but it's okay. So we covered we covered the uh, the the ineptness of the music industry, which is listen. And, and to this day, you know, none of us are at a level that we've dealt with. We we understand some of the intimate um, um, details of the industry stuff, the ugly side of it that a lot of people don't oh, yeah. understand. We understand that, but none of us have really sat at the table where we learned who the devil really was. I mean, when it really boils down to it, man, it's just like, everybody sucks. Everybody's at that level. Everybody's band is, you know, I mean, we're all garbage. We're just pushing ourselves. We're all trying, right. you know, like, nobody's better than anybody else. We're all just busting our ass. Yeah, unless you're, you're part of the, enough, unless you're part of the mumble rap conspiracy, yeah. it's, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to flow. It's easy. I mean, I guess. <laughs> I mean, honestly, you gotta start somewhere with everybody. No, this my is point is, my point world. is, that makes me. That's a. That's just a catalyst for people. Oh yeah. You know what I mean. Oh yeah. To sure. think that this shit's easy. It's. It's definitely not. I mean, I jumped into this thinking, oh, I'm just gonna play in a band with a bunch of my friends. We'll make it. No problem. We'll get signed. Not like that. No. I didn't realize how much work and business e business ethic ethics that you have to actually put into this. Hey, listen. I've learned so much with this band, from you know design work to how to make a website, how to order merch, how to dis distribute yourself, how to book tours. That's the business side. I mean, Work. stuff that I never thought I'd be able to actually have to do myself, at least. I've got I've got times that are set aside for web development, and I'm an IT guy. It's what I do. I already knew how to do that stuff. That makes it worse. That's like a mechanic working on his own car, right? right. Nobody likes doing that shit, Nobody. you know. Nobody. Um, um, when I brought my last, when I bought, I bought, I bought my last broadcast PC because I didn't want to build it. I spent an e probably an extra shit eight hundred dollars because I didn't want to build it. Mm -hmm. I could have built that. I could have built a, a badass broadcasting system um, for eight hundred dollars cheaper if I would have just put it together. But I didn't. You know why? Because I'm a, I fucking do that at work. Well, I mean, I don't necessarily do PC stuff, but I do IT shit at work. I don't want to come home and do IT shit. You right. know what I'm saying? So it's the same with the web page. Like I'm constantly updating the web page and making things. But see, I do it in a way that I'm automating. It, you know, I, I put in work to take work off of me later. Sort of like uh, when I first started this show, um, we were a traditional podcast, just audio. Then we introduced the camera. And then what I realized when we do that is now I got to fucking edit video, which that right. sucks, right? So then I said, well, fuck, if we go live, we'll be good. Well, that wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be either. Never. And it took eight. We, we tried from the day we first tried to go live, which was PimpyCast episode seven. We, uh, uh. Uh, was uh, eight weeks until we were finally doing it every week. That's how fucking complicated and nasty everything was. But I put in that work, and now I can do a show. I don't have to edit the video because everything's here. Exactly. It's just trial and error at that point. I mean, honestly, I'm not sure if you saw it. We just released our own music video, um, and all of that was DIY. We filmed it ourselves. We edited ourselves. We learned how to do everything, and it was... One of the most difficult things we've ever done, but I mean, we're damn proud of the product. Um, yeah. Check it out. It's called Benzedrine. 
We yeah, no, I, I, I watched it. it. I watched it. Uh, we filmed it in our living room, ironically. So uh, Micah was the one that filmed it. I edited it. I mean, we all had a part in this, and it was just it was a I learning mean, experience. The, the rise up, the rise up lights video, dope video. That was awesome filmed video. in a living room. Exactly. I mean, you don't have to go crazy. <laughs> the, the location doesn't mean shit, really, no. does it? You just have right. to make well, it look cool. I mean, hey, let's be nice honest. Living room. As long as the music sounds good and and it's you know you're not just putting out shit as right. far as quality for the video right. it's it's pretty easy you know what i mean essentially but yeah. but you know in a in a visual centric world where and which is why i we dropped the traditional podcast syndication is why would you listen if you can watch right yeah That's what and, and, wants. and and i started noticing as we went as we started adding more and more youtube stuff that we were losing our 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 uh, you know, losing our clicks up in all the traditional, uh, you know, uh, 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 iTunes, Android. Uh, I, I think we even did, did. We had everywhere you could upload MP3s. I mean, we had a band camp for the podcast at one time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everywhere, because I mean, we were about underground bands, so I think it was fitting, right? Mm -hmm. So we went through, we went through all of that, and we started to notice now that we have this video available on Face or on uh, YouTube. Nobody's fucking listening in the, in the other capacities Getting anymore. Exactly. So, so we stopped doing it. Exactly. You I mean, know? it's whatever your fans are actually going to tune into. You so got to kind of figure out your niche. It looks like we're getting really close to starting this show. Yep. So let's go ahead and bring this to an end. Let's bring it back and let's talk about the band for a second. Let's talk about Brave New World, man. Uh, first of all, since you guys have not yet been a featured artist on the network, you will be soon. We've already discussed that. Um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and talk about... Uh, who the band is, where you came from, and what you guys are about. Um, honestly, I mean, I guess I'll kind of start off with that. Yeah. The whole thing was me, our bass player, Spivey, and our guitar player, ex-guitar player, actually, Scott. Um, we came from another band called Liars to Legends, and that kind of actually just dispersed. We realized we didn't, you can only play so many breakdowns before you get tired of it, you know? Um, so Scott started playing guitar because he was our bass player in the last one. Spivey started playing bass. We jumped into this completely different genre that none of us have ever played before. Um, Ended up getting Micah randomly because we both worked at Guitar Center and he just came in one day and it kind of fell together. Um, and then Chris Eubanks, actually we had him in mind from the beginning. And he was in another band at the time, things didn't work out and we actually uh, were lucky enough to snag him. And he moved down here within about less than a month. I'm Has poorly suited for since. other work and they let me <laughs> sleep. That's good. Uninterrupted great, for at least four hours a night, which I, I appreciate. And they don't ask me to bathe regularly. I mean, maybe once a week. It's it's a solid game. I mean, I he's like got it. his own room, but <laughs> I, I mean, I like it. You know, he likes the couch a little bit. But... I like open spaces and I like to sprawl. I feel um, enclosed. Do you do it naked? <laughs> <laughs> um, but actually, we. You have just come off to me as a, as a guy that if, if you just. Like any sitcom or anything I've ever seen, if there's been this one guy that's been like, oh, by the way, I sleep naked, you're that guy. That's him. That's, that's a life-affirming <laughs> moment. Um, this this was actually pretty big for us as well because we have a new guitar player. Um, Scott ended up uh, moving away, started doing some different stuff, which we are so happy for him. There's no bad blood. Oh, yeah. But um, we had one of our good friends, Jared he's Hutchinson. Married uh, yeah, he's getting married too. Oh, Congratulations, Scott. Wow. Ah, um, tying the knot, huh? Tying it deep. <laughs> but uh, actually, Jared Hutchinson, this is his first show with us, and he, we're really stoked. He's one of the most perfect fits we've ever had, and we're so happy to have him here. Um, so tune in if you're not here, and if not, you'll see us soon. Absolutely. I hope so. That's and really dope. Keep an eye out with Jared. Uh, tell them real quick how they can find you on the interwebs and social media. Everything is at We Are Brave New World. Um, Instagram at We Are Brave New World. Facebook.com slash We Are Brave New World. It, uh, YouTube is We Are Brave New World. And I believe you can also find us on Bandcamp, I want to say, at We Are Brave New World as well. You know, Bandcamp, uh, you know, out of all these social media band sites, you know, media sites or whatever, Reverb Nation, I mean, it's it's just a bunch of artists promoting the artists. There's not right. really a big... Bandcamp is one of those ones that still maintained a fanship. Like, there's still a big fan drive there. Uh, believe it or not, um, you know, when I've got to fill some slots, I go to uh, Bandcamp 
because you can pick a city, you can pick a genre, and you exactly. know, it, I, I Bandcamp. I think is still a really good place to put music. Um, and it links to your Facebook page really easily. Right. It yep. looks professional. It looks clean. And does it does it spam it like a, like a Reverb Nation or something like that? Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Right. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the the main place you can find us. Like I said, our YouTube video Benzedrine out now on our YouTube. Uh, again, we are Brave New World. Absolutely. And if we get to a point where we're not able to play that. Um, we're, uh, we're recording all of this locally as well, so we will uh, edit and put all of this back out, and we will include the snippets of your interviews, and we'll add your music as well. It'll be dope. It'll be a uh, uh, just so you guys know. Before we cut out of here, um, typically the Pimpycast does go live on YouTube. We're going live on Facebook uh, now for the Arsa Wave. That's where we're at, by the way. The Arson Wave CD release party at downtown Pensacola at the Vinyl Music Hall. Uh, we've got whole life has been Brave New up. World, we've got Rise Up Lights, we've got Safe Harbor. It's going to be a really dope to show. Go on. There's still tickets available at that door. Head down here right now. Come come kick it with us live, and I might even put you in one of these seats and, and talk and to you. Go. I'm going to go watch Safe Harbor. All right, yeah, guys. Safe so Harbor's awesome. Safe Harbor's out. going on, so we're going to cut out. We'll be back at the next break. We're See you guys next. later.
Guys, we are back live yeah. on Facebook for the Arson Wave CD release party. Yep. Uh, being broadcasted as a special Pippi Cash right here on the Pippi K Multiverse Network. Joined once again by the guy that was ushered away. I'm back. Ushered away in a panic. There's no manager staring at me this time. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, man. You know. Uh, uh, Shane has been a bit of a handful, but it's only because he's put and worked for you and oh, for yeah. you guys on an unbelievable level. It's like because that. it's a pain in the ass to get five grown man-child all together at the same time and keep everybody on the same fucking page. Well, listen to me. I, I, I've done mad live shows. I've, I've, you know, I, I've done a lot of different uh, uh, live events. They're always unorganized. There's always things that, that, that come out of left field that you were not expecting. Yep. And, and one of those things is where are people going to be when you need them? You can Good tell Lord. them until you're, you're, you're blue in the face. I need you here at this time. I right. need you know, blah, blah, blah. It's not going to happen because there's a lot going on. There's a shitload of people behind us. It's crunk tonight. Safe Harbor just ripped it up. They did, man. They just, they just killed it. it. One of them need to get over here so we can and, talk to them. In just a few minutes, we're going to get uh, one of the uh, guys from Safe Harbor here on the day so we can talk to them as well. Yep. Um, and uh, just so you guys know, uh, and, and I'll say this again, just make sure that you guys go and check all these bands out on social media. Um, if you look at the uh, the scrolling ticker right here above us, eventually it's going to get to a point where you're going to uh, see some shit that has uh, the band name and the uh, Facebook. I did the Facebook. Yeah. From there, you can usually find the web page and everything out, else. Yep. Like the interwebs is the interwebs. And just like uh, most uh, featured artists say these days, if you need something, Google us. Yeah, pretty much. Right, just Google It'll us. I can take you everywhere you need to go. Right, right. As long as you're unique with your band name, you're not going to have much problem yeah, with that. Yeah. So, uh, what do you what do you think? Uh, 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 just so you guys know, you already do if you're tuning into this because you're an Arsenal Wave fan. You know, we got Mr. Nick. Um, Cody is what. A lot of people say, is it the proper enunciation for your last name actually Cote? The uh, the proper enunciation for it is actually Cote, yeah. Cote, right. But, uh, hell, my whole but family. Your, but your redneck friends and yeah, family just and call it Cody. Cody. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, it's 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 typically, uh, I see that last name with, uh, like, uh, I know a couple Filipinos with that last yeah. name. Portuguese you know? is what, uh, the, what yeah. my family is. Well, yeah. uh, you know, uh, the uh, Filipinos was a Spanish state at one time, which yeah. Makes makes sense because they've got Rives and Gutierrez and all that. As well. <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, so anyway, so Safe Harbor just went on. We're uh, we're, we're trying to get a member of them. Um, yeah, they should be over here shortly. They're lo unloading gear right now. Maybe we can get Dylan over here. He's the fucking front man. He don't have shit to do. <laughs> no, the front man's got to move some drum equipment, man. That's yeah. that's a must. Yeah. That's like the un the the, uh, the unspoken rule yes. of being in a band. If you're not playing, yeah, yeah. But Help well, the well, fucking drummer. Everybody up there played an instrument, so that's a little bit different. Yeah. He has so he has his own equipment to get yeah. off the stage. Yeah. It's not like it's not like uh, 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 Alex from Rise Up Life was before he started playing guitar again. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I didn't even know the kid could play guitar, so I was blown away. I was actually excited to see that. Um, let's be honest. Uh, you know, there's there's some cool bands that have just a lead singer and they rock it and it's good. But for the most part, there's a lot of bands that I see the lead singer and I think to myself, he should be fucking doing something. Yeah. You know what Definitely. I mean? Definitely. Uh, As a drummer of 12 years, we always had the worst luck with Frontman and Drayton Sawyer. John <laughs> Schreiber, pretty good about helping. Pretty good about helping. But uh, we've had a few others that would just fucking stand there. Right. Or go like talk to people or just be missing. <laughs> We've had yeah. some guitar players like that too. <laughs> and you know, my thing was, I was always, dude, I even, you know, before I hurt my back, you know, when, when I would go see a featured artist, I would help load out because, I mean, that's, it's, how can you just stand there and watch that? Now, if you yeah. know, you know, like, you know, the funny thing, like, I'm on the guest list, right? I mean, I still right. pay to get in. You know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't tonight, obviously, because we're doing too. the podcast yeah. or whatever. But I'm on, every show I go to just about in town now, I'm on the guest list because, 
how many physical artists are now PMVN featured artists? Right, most of them. And I still most pay the We're door. We're definitely a happy one, that's and, for sure. And I want to get into that real quick because I think that's something that we need to talk about specifically is that if you really support your local scene and you really um, want to do what you can do for the band, whether they put you on a fucking list or not, pay the door. Pay the fucking door. That's yeah. the most help you can give them. That's how they're able to purchase merch. That's how they're able to put gas in a car to get from gig to gig. Yeah. I mean, a lot of these kids have shitty fucking jobs because they want to do as least as possible so they can focus on their craft. Pretty much. Uh, so, uh, yeah, do that. If you're going to support the local scene, showing up isn't enough. You, you, you've got you've to do your part. That's just the way Pay it is. Pay your dues. Pay your dues. We've got a great underground show going on right now. If, if you're just now tuning in, it's the fucking Arsa Wave CD release party. They're releasing their debut album, uh, Embrace Reality. It's a fucking gorgeous album. I've heard every bit of it, and it's fucking dope. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to spin it uh, uh, some some more tracks in the near future on the yep. Pippi Cast. Definitely, definitely. You know we gotta we gotta get more metal bands. Uh, you know I, you know I got to a point where we just had so many rappers that I had to take a break from that, and I have been. You know I've had a few in and out. Of course, uh, DJ Quake's got his uh, Power Back Empire. If they're fucking with DJ Quake, I gotta bring him in, right? Because right. I mean that's fucking DJ Quake. And, He's uh, the man, dude. Oh, I've had is. the pleasure of meeting him a few times at the Pimpy Cast. And uh, I love that dude, man. We he's uh, he's got the same sense of humor we do. He's just a cool motherfucker. Oh, uh, he is, man. And, and he puts in work. I mean, he puts in yeah, work definitely. on a grand scale level. It's really awesome. Hey, this guy behind me. Bitch, I overrate. Hey. Nice fucking shirt, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought he was leaving me hanging there for a second. Man, you gotta like not watch the watch the monitor. You know? so, <laughs> I was watching through the monitors. I, anybody that watches the show knows I rarely look at the camera. Yeah. To me, the the camera's kind of second. I I set up uh, uh, our broadcast. <laughs> yes, look, he's watching it. Sick. <laughs> I set up our broadcast as a sort of a radio style first. Yeah. It's it's this first. Yeah. It's my interaction with you first. Right. And then of course I've got to pay attention to this because I manage it, right? But that's secondary to me. But what, what's happened over years is we've dropped a uh, uh, podcast syndication and stuff like that because that's became more important to people. You know? Right. So I've got to focus on it, but at the same time I don't have to pay attention to it while I'm doing the show. Yeah, you don't want to fucking sit there and stare right. at it and make fucking right. awkward and, eye and, contact the whole time. And that happens. Like Hunter, Hunter's the worst ever. We were talking about it earlier. He'll show up for no reason without even asking. Walk in, next thing I know, I look at the monitor, he's behind me staring at the camera <laughs> like a fucking creepo. He does it all the time. <laughs> I fucking love him, man. He's what he's at. Castro. There's the Castro. So we're gonna yeah. we What's got up, Castro dog? in the building. Did you What's pay up, to get dog? in? Did you pay to get in? That shouldn't have happened. Anyway, we'll we'll, yeah. we'll work something out. We'll get the Castro here on the day here in a little yeah, we'll bit. Figure that out. He got his, uh, as does everybody that walks through the door, first 200 anyway, that buy a ticket, get a free copy of Embrace Reality, the new debut album from Arson Wave. Dope shit, guys. Fucking super dope shit. I've heard this album. It's super oh, yeah. fucking sick. These guys are releasing, uh, shit, they released a quarter of the album already in, uh, uh, lyric videos. Pretty much, yeah. And, 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 and <laughs> hey, who designed the lyric videos? Did uh, Shane and them take care of That was Shane and his team at Embark Agency. I'm mom and dad, I'm at a show what? and you can't stop me, motherfucker! This fucking guy right here. Schultz, that is, this dude right here is a piece of furniture. We're going to, I tell you what, team. here's what we're going to do. Uh, when we go to the next, fuck it, scoot over, let yeah, him in. come on, come on. Is it Tim? Matt. Matt, Matt, Matt. How y'all doing, you guys? Hey, I, I want to let you guys know right now, really quick. I started doing live shows about 15 years ago, and every almost, almost every live show I ever did, I looked at this fucking sexy mug right here. <laughs> thank you, thank For you. Years. For years. Years. Same here. He's Likewise. a fucking workhorse. Look, he might have been there to work security one night yeah. or whatever it may be. Whatever he but, was needed to dude, do. He always helped the band. Solid motherfucker right here. Listen, I'm the dude, bitch. If, if I had one fucking thing to carry out, he wouldn't let me carry it out. He's like, no, <laughs> let me walk into I mean, dude, no. Yeah. You kidding me? Uh, if we had security issues, whatever it was, this guy... You want to talk about the local music scene? You want to talk about the underground music scene? You want to talk about things that make it click? Listen, the bands are a huge part. I understand that. But you know what's underappreciated? 
Nick, it's guys like this man that's sitting a, that's next to you. Right. This guy is a Thank fucking you. workhorse. He makes shows go off without a hitch. And if you've ever been involved with a live show, you know that it's not an easy task. We were talking about earlier. People aren't ever where they need to be and, and whatever. This is a guy that can facilitate that. Yep. If you are in the Pensacola area and you need somebody to help you throw a show and you're willing to pay a motherfucker that can actually make it happen, we'll get you this I'm man's contact guy. information yep. right here. You know man. what I mean? Matt Schultz. And he's been doing it since I've been in music. Send so. him dick pics on Facebook. Well, yeah, I mean, I've sent, I send him <laughs> dick pics on a regular just so he knows I still care. <laughs> I got know? his number now, so he's about to be getting some dick pics. Sometimes, dude, some sometimes, big old fat little dicks. Sometimes, I, listen, sometimes I go to... Three, four years without even seeing Matt. I thought you were gonna say a dick, or even Matt's dick for that matter. And you if know? your mom has plastic on her furniture, she's a squirter. <laughs> <laughs> that is based on facts. That's based on facts. There was facts. a census done. No alternative facts there. Those were all 100% <laughs> legitimate facts. I want to thank Kibby K for having me on the show. Hey, you got it, man. <laughs> hey, no, listen to me. And, and what I'm going to do is uh, um, I'm putting it together, so i got to make sure we're still in contact. Um, I'm putting together a show that it isn't going to have any bands. It's literally going to be a show focused on Pensacola um, um, promoters. of Not just from, not promoters. I like, fuck promoters and all that. But, but guys that are just fans like Beef and guys like that yeah, that right. went out of their way to improve people and like Matt that are like uh, you know a stench on the music scene right, right. and, and, and we're gonna make that we're yeah. gonna fucking make that happen we were supposed to have somebody from Safe Harbor it looks like that didn't happen but it looks like uh, Brave, Brave New, New World, World is taking the stage now yeah. we're gonna jump out of here what's up oh wait Hunter what's up dog these are my bro workers right here when, yeah. we, when we come back we're gonna have some yeah. more fans Guys, this is a dope event. If you're in the Pensacola area and you're not here, you're fucking up. You guys are watching. It's a fucking crazy night. You guys are watching the Pimpy Cat special Arson Wave CD release party right here on the Pimpy K. Yeah. Multiverse yes, Network. And we will. We, we will. Back. Be back, motherfucker. Be back. Ah. Ah.